Blessings and greetings, my angels. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the many new subscribers that have joined the channel. I won't know who you are unless you introduce yourself in the comments and then I can kind of welcome you to the channel officially. And don't forget, by commenting, sharing, and liking, you get an opportunity to get some cards pulled for you, if not once, at least twice during the month when I do my subscriber card pulls. It's my way of thanking my subscribers for sharing their energy and being a subscriber to the channel and appreciating what I do. I'll be doing a bonus subscriber card pull this evening in honor of Christmas, and I'll continue blessing you with your readings for the December energies, and then we'll tap into our last weekly reading for this last week coming up already, right? Of December of 2023. Let's cleanse the space, both in yours and mine. Heavenly Father, God, and protect my energy. And of that, in the sacred space, whatever location those viewers or subscribers are in. We're now going to tap into the messages that are in the charms so we're going to do a charm reading i don't do those that often but if you like for me to do them all you have to do is comment that you like it and i will continue to do it unless you give me feedback i don't know you know what it is that you like and what it is that you don't like okay we pull some charms and some letter tiles and then we'll see what messages come through sometimes there's names um different symbols that can mean something so if anything resonates please comment below and if not you can just bypass it i'm sure it's meant for somebody else okay so we're gonna just put a couple there we're gonna pull a little bit more than usual because it is christmas eve let's see what we start out with A little wand here to help us out. Okay, what do I have here? We have a charm here of a flower. Something, it's, I, I don't want to say it's a rose, but it's a flower. This could be the symbol of, um, you know, I just recorded your ancestors reading, which I'll be uploading as soon as it finishes processing this could be the symbol of maybe you had an ancestor or yourself or when you were small you used to be with your grandmother or your mother or an aunt or a sister that loved gardening or she might have worn a pendant or given you a pendant with a flower on it, it it's, it's not a rose but it, it's about as close as you're going to get to a rose it looks more like a zinnia so this could be their way of coming through um reminding you to continue to garden or that they see you gardening and they appreciate when you garden because it makes them think of the fond memories that of the time that you had spent together some of you could be wearing this particular floral charm right now holding it you know it's christmas eve you might miss that particular loved one it could even be i'm getting the feeling that you were given this as a christmas gift from this person it could be sitting in your jewelry box this could be a sign for you to put it on we also get this is antlers so this looks like oh yeah this is a reindeer actually wow First time I've ever pulled it, but we have a reindeer here. So how sweet is that? We have a reindeer on Christmas Eve, reminding us of the celebration of Christmas. You know, for those who have young children, you know, we tell them the story of Santa Claus and, you know, his reindeer and the elves and that whole story. And we sit down tonight baking cookies for Santa and we watch Christmas movies, but don't forget to also tell them the true, real spiritual meaning of Christmas. But it's just a reminder that we are in the Christmas season. We also get the symbol of a heart. This has like a cross, a nurse. I don't know if some of you are in the nursing field. You have a love of nursing. Or, or this could be a relative 
that is no longer here could have been a nurse or they wanted you to be a nurse this is, this could be them reaching out to you saying well you know honey if you can't you know be in the career that you want to be in remember you always wanted to be a nurse when you were a little girl you know so that might be a, a sign for you to maybe to go back to nursing or to go back to the studying of nursing. Others of you, it symbolizes that you have a firm dedication and love to being a nurse. We get the elephant here, which in some cultures, you know, is a sign of luck. We have the butterfly, which always signifies that there's transformation and constant change going on in our lives. And if I'm not mistaken, do we have the stalk? Yes. So there could be some pregnancy. Either some of you are thinking about getting pregnant, you are pregnant, or it could be for the new year, you might find out that you're going to be a grandma or a grandpa, or you're having fertility issues or someone that you know is working on fertility issues. Wow, we get the baby carriage too. So baby carriage and stalk. Definitely some babies being born. Um, maybe it's a Christmas baby being born for Christmas. You know, they have those contests of who, who or the New Year's baby who brings in the New Year's. So definitely there's going to be a baby, a new addition to the family, or definitely someone's going to be working on it. And for some of you, it might be a surprise. We have a crest here. I feel like, again, a lot of you will be working on getting your first home or possibly being left a home um, from an estate. So your family and your ancestors wanting you to continue to take care of the home that they established for the family that they're no longer here. We get, which looks like a bee. Um, the bee could be just the sweetness in you, the honey. Um, some some of you might have a like of taste of honey. I, I'm also getting that some of you were called honey a lot by uh, someone that may no longer be here, and that's their way of, of letting you know that they're here and, and they think of you. Also, with the bee, just be careful not to be stung by a bee. If you're traveling uh, or where you live, it's you know tropical all the time. And also not to be stung by people in a sense, like watch the company that you keep that people don't do slick things behind your back or towards you in a negative way. We have another elephant here. You know what the elephant, like I said, I know in some countries it could symbolize luck, but you know, an elephant is a huge animal, right? It's very big. And it, for many of you, I can feel like something big is getting ready to happen in your life. Or you're waiting for something big to take place. There's a camera. So this this could be a big adventure, a big event. We got the stalk and the, the bassinet, right? The carriage. So maybe, you know, this could be some of you in the delivery room taking a picture of the birth of a, your child or your birth of your grandchild right that's a big event in which you would want to take pictures and have memorable pictures with and of wow what is this here is the rose so this definitely ties in with that other so this is a rose this is love this is this is this rose symbolizes something or someone that you loved um your name could you your name could have been rose or your grandmother your mother's name could have been rose someone that you love had a, a a distinct love for roses they could have given you a rose pendant um you, or you put roses by their gravesite but the the connection is coming in coming through quite strong and in, and in a big way <laughs> like that elephant in a big way ah uh, here we get a little boy the silhouette of a little boy so is that going to be the new addition to the family whether it's a grandchild or niece or nephew or your own child could be the potential to be a little boy we get the snowman so if it hasn't snowed yet in your area, this could be symbolizing that there's snow or some of you might be going vacationing where you you ski and you like sledding and stuff like that. The children playing with snowmen during Christmas and Christmas Eve. 
Christmas Day. Here we have the heart again. Um, the sign of love, not only in your heart, but for people around you. Have a lot of love for and towards you. Let's see whose names will the past, present, or potential future come out with the tiles. So, you know what? I'm going to slide these off here. Let's see. I'm sorry if you hear my machine. You know me. I'm always... <laughs> I, I, I just like to multitask. Um, oh, will we get a bus? Well, some of you might be taking a bus somewhere as you travel. Maybe you're traveling to your in-laws or maybe your car is out of whack and you have to take the bus to your, your location for Christmas. Also, sub. Um, sub could be abbreviation for subway. So it could be seeing many of you taking the subway or bus to your destination. And Sue, the, Sue could be you, Sue could be someone that you dated or someone you will date, or Sue could be someone that's one of your ancestors that is saying hello to you. Um, let me see, we have an M. I don't see anything else so far. Let's. We'll close it out here with this, and then we'll pull two cards. I see the word cure. I don't know if someone may be ill or, or they're going away. Maybe they could be traveling to look for a cure. Because we get the word cure. We also get the word crew. Um, some of you could work in a team setting or you work with a, a bunch of people as far as a team or a crew. And maybe together as a crew, you could be celebrating the holidays together or having a little festive celebration. We do have the word C. So pay attention to your sites this weekend or as we go into the new year, you know, be mindful, especially if you come to the big cities to see the balls drop and all these other celebrations during New Year's. Take in, you know, sights of everything that you see. That could be why you have the camera because you be, you could be going to places to, you know, to see the Eiffel Tower or to come to New York and see the ball drop or go to London or Paris. Um, again, just wherever you're going, you could be sightseeing and there's a lot of pictures that, that you want to take. I'm trying to see if I see anything else here. Uh, no. I thought I saw. Okay, let's pull one more. We get the word power. So step into your power. Watch how you regard and use your power. This weekend as we end the new year. Um, it, it's also like I'm thinking of power like some of you who might be in bad areas where there's storms around this time of the year. Your power might go out. So just make sure you have like batteries and, you know, generators, that, that type of stuff. Let's go to the tarot. Seven of Cups. A lot of you are, are fantasizing about things that you want. It is Christmas time, so this could be a sign of things that you had on your bucket list or things that you maybe wanted and desired for yourself for Christmas, things that you saw or told people that you wanted. It also could be things that you envisioned getting for others as gifts. 
could be you looking at things that you want to acquire in your lifetime, a home, a car, um, things that you, you have achieved. Because here in the Seven of Cups, I've never really looked closely, but let's see what's in the cups. So you have a trophy. So some of you could be looking at accomplishments that you've had along the way or those that you're working towards. I also see like a castle. So this could be, you know, planning of a home, the purchase of a home or future homes or, or travel. There's um, a beverage here. So some of you, you know, wanting to be sure that you can always provide for your family. You have, you know, the roof over your head, but you also have the material things and the things that sustain you in, in life. And love, of course, we have the heart in the cup here. You wanting and fantasizing about love and what love looks like. And then you have, now I'm not sure, that looks, it one of looks like an angel or the silhouette of something angelic or spiritual wanting that spiritual protection wanting you know your ancestors and god and anything that is sacred in the heavens to be part of your life and to continue to be a blessing to you now you also have in this cup which i find very interesting it looks like a snake so you, i feel that sometimes when we desire certain things it's a reminder when i look at that snake that be careful for what you wish for because you just might get it. And sometimes when we want certain things and certain things come into our life, yes, we get the things that we want, but in the mix of it or combined with it, we can also draw in things that we don't want. There's always those additional or the fine print things that we don't prepare ourselves for. We also get the message of the Knight of Swords. So... You know, don't be surprised if someone comes in from your past or a new someone new comes in unexpected this weekend knocking on your door or texting you or just coming out of the blue. Followed by the world card. Um, many of you anticipating and thinking about your world, the world, as we go into the new year. So, you, you know, where you are in life right now have your dreams come true um have you fulfilled your cups and desires as you wished if not it, it, is there going to be a knight in shining armor or is there some help or assistance from above or here in the earthy place that's going to come in to help you manifest these things because for many of you these things that you desire or the people that you want in your life and experiences that you want to you know achieve and, and and go through is what you consider what makes up your world what makes up who you know who you are the good and bad right you have the yin and yang you know the good and bad is part of life it comes with it um as with everything else at the bottom of the deck we get the seven of wands even as you forge ahead to work towards your dreams and fulfill your goals and live your life and and go through this world enjoying life and and again just trying to build and learn about your destiny and and build towards your prosperity you're still going to have struggles this there are going to be people who's going to want to pull you back because they're not doing well there are people who are going to just give you a tough time just for the sake of giving you a tough time because they're jealous of who or where you are in life. Um, with the King of Pentacles in the middle of the deck, many of you are and you will continue to be of sound mind. You still will be regarded as someone who can hold their own, someone who not only is wise and, and strategic in their thought process and thinking, but people look up to you they regard you because of your leadership qualities and how you handle things when it comes to material wealth and and stability so that's that's very good that those type of energies are around you and that you are still thinking even if in times of drought in times when many people are you know losing finances or losing their jobs and many of you still are trying to keep the dream and the faith alive that 
things can still turn around there still could be good times you you might lose some but then again you might gain and never never give up on your dreams even in times of challenge again if if you have faith as small as a mustard seed then yes you should believe that the things that you desire if it's according to god's will that it will happen that your world will be complete that you will be able to lead yourself and others that are close to you you know to happy endings to victories to a complete and fulfilled life may this reading be a blessing to you namaste